Two important properties of rock are the porosity and the permeability. Rocks contain spaces within them, either between the grains that form the rock or within cracks. The porosity is a measure of the total amount of spaces in the rock, and the permeability is a measure of how well connected those spaces are. The higher the permeability, the easier it is for fluid or water to pass through the rock. I'm going to demonstrate the difference between porosity and permeability with my helpers here. First, we're going to look at porosity. Using this chocolate bar, we can see it contains air bubbles. What we don't know is if those pores or air bubbles are well connected. So to understand if it has a high permeability, I'm going to ask Edward here to use this like a straw and to blow through it and blow bubbles in this glass of milk. Thank you. That's brilliant, thank you, Edward. So we know that the pore spaces aren't connected in this chocolate bar because we are not able to blow bubbles. And what it, this tells us is that whilst this chocolate bar has a high porosity, it has a low permeability. George is going to help me with a different demonstration using a different chocolate bar. In this one, the pore spaces are less evident. But what we don't know is if these pores are well connected as well. George, would you be able to try, please? That's great. Thank you, George. What these demonstrations have shown is it's the permeability rather than the porosity that controls how fluid or water will move through a rock. This is important to the safety of a GDF because movement of water through ground is one of the ways in which radioactive materials may potentially move to surface. 